Hi guys, Daniel Kazinas here. In this video we're we'll sorting out the tunnel hull inboard surface drive, fixing the exhaust and fixing the rudder. What happened last time was the rudder was steering terribly and it was swinging out of the way of the prop wash. So what people have suggested is I could use a Levi drive or a Levy drive. But I tried making a cowling for the propeller once and it really, really reduced its speed. So I don't really want to do that. But what I have seen is if you put the pivot point at the leading edge of the rudder or even a little bit back, that's what a lot of other people have suggested as well and that seems to work so that's what I'm going to do first. Okay, got the bracket set up on there now. So now that pivot point is like slightly past here. I looked at pictures of other boats and that's how they did it. So next thing I gotta do is weld the hydrofoils on. Just kidding, maybe another time. And I've gotta change the exhaust. Those of you who didn't watch the other video, water was getting funneled back through here into the motor and hydrolocked it. I think what was happening is when you slow down on a boat, this, a bow wave comes up behind you and crashes into the back of the boat. But like this is acting like a funnel and shooting the water straight up there. Or it could be also the motor's cooling down. As it's cooling down, it sucks water in. That could be another factor. So I'm going to change this setup. Had a lot of comments. Thanks for all the comments, guys. On the rudder mostly. But what I might do is someone just said just run it outside the boat so I might do that. I found this old muffler that I made once before for another project. I was thinking about utilizing this and having it this way so it sticks into the water. So I'm getting a cool down effect and a bit of a muffle. So let's try that. Okay, we've got the muffler in there now. Just found this uh, piece of stainless steel and the scrap in at work. So I've got that welded, the most laziest exhaust I could make. Been brushing up on my boat lingo. So I've got the exhaust poking out sort of port stern side. I'm going to cut this rudder down in a minute. I wrote some numbers on there and then did a little YouTube shorts. Most people have commented that they want one. Cut it off there because I can always trim it off more later. Didn't quite explain that actually once you get on the plane you lift the, mo the prop back up again so it works more like a surface drive, probably comes up to about there maybe. But yeah I'll do that, I'll cut it off at one since that's what everyone says. I've got the steering hooked back up, i just got this janky rod set up again, be alright for now. Put a spring on this side, it rocks it bumps out and the other good part is you can go right over centre. So it sticks up so it's easier to push around and stuff. Okay, rudder's sorted out. Just getting ready to do another test on the dyno. See if there's any more water still in the motor. Pretty much dried out. Put the plug back in and see if it runs. Well, that propeller really pumped the water out of here real quick. I've got the bigger prop on. This was a uh, eight and a half inch prop that I just cut down a little bit because I had a, tried a six and a half inch last time. It's a surface drive prop, oh, it's a bit loose. Um, even with the rudder and the shallow, shallow water like that, I could feel it trying to steer it. It was way better than last time. It's going good. It's time for a real test. Okay, I'm just making another seat of what I've got lying around. Gotta be careful where you sit. 
Okay, we're out at a different river today. Got my dad here helping me out. Me is injured at the moment. So we're going to launch in this little river here and try and go upstream first, and then we'll try to go downstream. See how it goes. It's quite hard going up here, eh? Yeah, it's pretty shallow. Maybe we'll turn we've around. Been up here before. No, we've never been up here. No. Look at yeah, it's too shallow. Yeah, Fishing with you in here because you're heavier than me. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, we'll turn around. Move that branch. There's a dead animal or something yeah, in there. Get this branch here out of the way. We can just come back through. Back on the other side. Yeah, can you chuck it over there? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh man, look at this. Oh no, it's a massive. Someone's chopped down trees and let them fall into the river. Yeah. yeah you won't get through that one. Uh, we could probably carry the boat up past up there, could we? Yeah, we probably could up through here. Yeah. Oh, we're through. You want to get back in? Motor up yep, whatever you like. Looks pretty good now. So what happened? I uh, just snapped the handle off, uh, cut my finger yep. a tiny little bit. This full start's still there so we can try to stick to it. Yeah. Let me put it on the land here and get it started maybe. Pete, come back. There we go. Sorry Dad, it's not normally like this. <laughs> so we've seen the skeg has turned. This bolt's fallen out, which keeps it all aligned. So no, we're not having a very good time. It looks like the rudder's bent. Yeah, it is. Gonna change this prop. Hopefully it makes it easier to start on the water. Because this is always in the water and when you pull the pull state, you're fighting against it the whole time. Say something about it, Dad. Kaput. <laughs> Done. Listen. Oh, it's right, isn't it? Yeah. It 
was too slow. Trying to adjust the idle here. We, we can't get a screwdriver in here. I can almost turn it with my fingers. Oh yeah. Or is that just turning the plastic bit? Oh no, it's going. Yeah, because the skeg's missing, half the prop is totally snapped off because the skeg's doing nothing. Oh well, we're gonna have to row back, but we're nearly back, luckily. Yeah. All right, I'm super shallow here. Yeah. I can just walk and push Dad along. Here we go, boots wet. Middle of winter. It's all right. It's a nice day. All right, we made it back, but I had to go on the water. It's pulling her out now. All right, back home now. That was a pretty cool adventure. So the rudder worked way better than before. It steered really well. The exhaust was good. No water came back in. Motor seems kind of underpowered. Need a more powerful motor. It's half a swamp inside this thing at the moment. It felt a little bit slower than last time. The exhaust might have been restricting it a little bit. The bolt that holds the skeg still comes up from underneath here so I couldn't fix it out on the river so that's spun out of the way and then we hit a log or something underwater snapped the repeller off it would still go but it was vibrating like crazy so I didn't want to shake the boat up any more than I needed to so there's more improvements I could be that could be done I've actually got an idea to totally redesign this thing more simpler and it'll work better too we'll have to see so thanks for watching guys see you next time